guys, now we're gonna talk about the normal procedures here for the uh, airbus. This is for you simmers out there. So, let's go. First of all, aircraft power, you enter the cockpit, your cockpit is black, and we need to power it up. Procedures. First of all, engines, check engine master 1, two switch off, check mode selector in normal. Check your landing gear lever in down position. Check your wipers, captain wiper, nephew wiper, off. Electricity, back one push button switch, back two push button switch, check off. Check that voltage is above 25 volts. Now we need to start up the APU. So, first of all, APU fire test and APU start. APU fire, push button switch in and guard. Agent lights out. APU fire test push button. Press, check that the APU fire warning can come. Master warning light uh, is on. But this, you can do that if uh, the AC power is available. APU fire push button switch light red. And the script lights and discharge lights is on. Start the APU. APU start. If external power push button on, light is on. APU master switch push button switch on. Start push button switch on. And then after the APU is up and running, you can choose whether you want to run it on the external power or you want to just run it on the APU. Cockpit lights. Check your cockpit lights. Totally as you require. Before the walk around we need to do some stuff. We need to check the flight control system, check the flaps and check the position. Check the upper ECOM display just to confirm that the flaps position agrees with the handle position. Also your speed brake lever. Check retracted and disarmed. Check your parking brake is on. Check your brake and echo pressure indicator. Next thing, probe window heat. Push button should be in auto. Air condition. APU bleed push button switch on. All white lights off. Core speed selector auto. And the zone temperature selectors should be in your 12 o'clock position, all three of them. Check cargo heat if selected, temperature selector. And regarding the electricity, scan and check that there are no amber lights except the general fault generator fault lights. Okay, we are now getting there. On the ECOM, you check your recall key. Press the recall key for three seconds. And the door SD page check your oxygen pressure yeah, on the hood page check with break normal up. range your reservoir fluid level yeah, and then on the engine SD page yeah, engine oil yeah, 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 check yeah, normal yeah, check rear and overhead circuit breaker panels and the gears pins and covers okay more to come later on this is to begin with part two will be all about the normal procedures we need to set up the overhead panel and check the fluids and the gates and everything and the have a nice flight and remember to join us in the Facebook group. Yeah, and and Bye.